Hello there, and welcome back to our Let's Play of, well, Clockwork Empires. So we have a few things happening at the end of episode one. Some bandits wish to defect to our colony, and we're being attacked by uh, by some of the some of the some of the fish people over here, the fishmen or whatever they are. Um, so where is our military? Our military should be joining over there. Will bandits join our colony for now? And what will happen over here is Ada will you know, kind of fight back against the horde of these guys and uh, try to hold them off as long as they can. So in the meantime, I want to take a look at, you know, where the uh, the squad is. I'll get them to rally over here. And the thing is that uh, as of as of yet, you know, there's not too much you can you can do kind of with your uh, with your military, but I, I think they're back over here. Yeah, they're joining the combat from back over here. Yikes! And yeah, these fish people attacks—they are—they're uh, quite vicious. So it's a good thing we have this, uh, you know, three-man military. These guys can hold them off, and uh, the rest of the colonists, right? They sh will hopefully be able to escape from the uh, from the claws over here. No, she should probably run back to the military, eh? Come on. I think we'll have to give the squad another rally point over here to assist her. Yeah, gradually, um, yeah, your, your different people will take damage and stuff like that. See, the thing is that I don't really know what happens to the damage, you know, whether or not you or, uh, your people will be able to heal that off just kind of by themselves. But we'll see. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of a it's a good idea to have a military just standing around doing nothing because, you know, when you need them, uh, they really come in handy. And I think what they do with the, the, the fish people bodies is that honestly, they just try to move them away from their base and they just, yeah, just chuck them out in the middle of the field so long as it's kind of, you know, out of sight, I guess. So, um, yeah, that handles that. That handles uh, getting wood as well. And we can make some more planks like that. And I think we'll get the rest of the people just to, yeah, grab whatever resources they can. All right, there we go. There, and things are right back to normal, and things go on. So now, I think it might be time to maybe um, grab some housing buildings for our people over here. So yeah, now we have some, uh, some, some more building materials. It would be good to get that set up. Kind of waiting for the uh, the kitchen to start working. Notice that nobody nobody seemed to work there. So I guess we'll try and see whether or not we can get that started. And you know we'll see whether or not we can get uh, some food produced next uh, next day. So there we go, day five. Uh, 
Ah, there we go. So more immigration. There we go. We got two more colonists. And hey, would you look at that? We got a foot soldier and a laborer. So this, that is pretty good. I'm going to assign them right away. And we also have a bandit as well. So, you know what? Let's get the bandit to join up with our military squad. Wherever that may be. Show military squads. Uh, okay, so we assign them over here. Yeah, that works out pretty well. And I'm not sure if it just kind of assigned that uh, foot soldier to some random squad, but um, from the looks of it, that is what happened. So either way, I think we'll just let that do its thing. And in the meantime, how are we looking over here? How is the kitchen doing? Uh, kitchen. Go down over here. Mr. Cog's Mindful Mills. He is a he is an artisan apparently. So, he is... No, he's apparently terrible in all qualities. So, that kind of sucks. Right, in that case, we might need to... Um, need to assign that to maybe someone else, perhaps? Uh, let's see. Enable farming, mining, construction, hunting, hauling jobs. Um, they should be working the kitchen, but I don't know why they're not. In that case, I think we might have to take a look at this and boost its uh, capacity, maybe? Oh, I see. It's not listed as a, as a possible thing, eh? Hmm. Have to figure out what is wrong with this, but uh, I think we have enough, yeah, f farmed food that uh, we can still kind of continue on for the episode and deal with it next time, however, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, in the meantime, then, I guess we'll try to build this uh, this new house. So, anyhow, we I, I noticed that back there we have a mixture of, um, say, some of these new um, these these new middle class people and some some of the some of the working class people. So we'll get uh, two two setups going here. We'll get one for the working class and one for the uh, the regular or you know the middle class people here. Well, on second thoughts, this building design it's not that great. Here, let's see if I can cancel that. Jobs, construct building, no, get rid of that. Yeah, get that to disappear. Uh, that one requires bricks. We have some bricks right now. We can get that, uh, we're, you know, we can make some more from clay as well. In that case, I think we get the lower, uh, yeah, the lower class house done first. So I still want it to be up here. It's just that they need a door and the door is kind of difficult to put um, unless, you know, you have one of these openings. So get one over here. And I think we'll have, uh, yeah, we'll make this a bit of a common house. So this requires a fair amount of uh, bolts of cloth, and we have six. So it looks like we'll be able to have maybe, maybe three people. Yeah, three people living in here. And they can have their own very table. And, you know, for decor, I think we'll kind of give them some of those. Yeah, so that kind of furnishes that room. And that should get that set up. So we might... Uh, I'm guessing we might need a dedicated cook or something to man the kitchens. It doesn't necessarily say anything about that, so I'm guessing this is um, kind of a, a free-for-all type of thing where, you know, whoever can work it can. At least uh, a lot of things... A lot of, a lot of things say that it's kind of, you know, free for use. Um, but it doesn't look like it is. I guess we could assign someone, you know, kind of random to that and see whether or not they do anything. Yeah, they seem to be able to make pumpkin stew. But it takes out a crew from mining. Or maybe it's uh maybe it requires two people, one for the for the for the stone oven over here and one for the uh, the actual kitchen port. 
Something like that. Either way, it looks like it's working now. Yeah, so you got a stew on the oven, things like that going on. So in that case, not too bad. Or, eh, or yeah, I think we just let them do their thing. So that's that, and we can call in another favor for some other things here. So we can call in for some food supplies, things like that. Uh, we can get a squad of soldiers as well. Huh, and one skilled naturalist. I think we'll call in for a naturalist this uh, this time. So we get Mr. Golden Temper's expedition. So this is, uh, yeah, we got our naturalist right over here. So uh, what these naturalists can do is that they can identify things for us. So like, yeah, uh, I see it's already doing it. So he'll come over here. He'll try to identify these different ores and the, uh, the coal and stuff like that. And he should gradually um, get us those goods, which is quite nice. Right, and that'll lead into uh, day five of the colony. <laughs> we still have this guy just laying around. Yeah, they'll gradually work on him. Ah, there we go. So they're starting to make the stew pretty good. Raw fish person steak. Naturalists have assured us the fish folk do not feel pain, so don't worry about it. Wow. All right, well, that's good to know. And there we go, so we can get some food from the uh, from the oven from the looks of it. Um, so all well and good. We might want to get a second oven. I was under the impression the workbench serves as kind of another food processing place, at least early on inside the game. Um, but in this case, uh, maybe not. So I think we just switch over here to brewery, oven, come on, there we go, kitchen. Grab another one of these things and, you know, pluck it around, really. Yeah, so that'll allow us to convert a lot more of the food at one go, which I'm under the impression would be a little bit better. And hey, this thing is done. Perfect. Right, so next up on our list of buildables will probably be the um, the, the, cur the ceramics workshop over here. So let's get that done. And I think we'll build it over here for now. So, um, hmm. Do you want that to be such a big building? I, I think we'll say yes for now and we'll get that done. And I guess we'll just continue on, get some more things going over here. And here, let's designate a new stockpile as well. Yeah, I think we can designate kind of like the side of this building maybe as a stockpile. Or not a farming plot. Stockpile, there we go. And we can get that area to only stockpile, um, yeah, the kind of the materials that we need. And I could add another one on the side as well. So there we go. Our little colony here is shaping up quite nicely. Now what is the naturalist doing over here? He is examining some plants. Fair enough. 
trying to see whether or not we can uh yeah butcher the fish people uh we could grab one there and we could grab another one over here perfect yeah it's kind of odd you had to click um like just above them you, you don't click on them which is really really weird but all right um but we, yeah we'll get those things done and man the only thing that i need right now is honestly just more uh more workers for the for the lot of this really uh, so we have some more pumpkins. We can probably make 20 units of pumpkin stew. The cabbages will do uh, later on, I guess. And we might as well make like, I don't know, 10 units of planks. And we'll order two more trees cut down in the meantime. So yeah, almost all the work Cruise, except for I think one or two should be should be pretty busy. Um, the expeditionary per or yeah the expedition person will do their own thing. Uh, Mr. Cox Mindful Mills. I don't really know. Maybe he's just taking a break. So that'll be that. Um, so ideally we should have two two uh, work crews. Idle the military for one, and the expedition for the other. Yeah, later on we'll try to better group those people, but uh, for now I. think I think we'll just let them do what really whatever. Right, and then building this area up, let's grab the, uh, yeah, whatever we really need for the mill over here. So, um, I think we have one door on this side, one door on this side, loading bay door. One of these things. And I'm guessing the, the kins over here are uh, are the really important things. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm under the impression the workbench over here was well, needed. It's kind of a secondary thing. Probably shouldn't have placed, you know, all these stockpiles right next to it. But I think this will work for uh, for what it's worth. I mean, the building exterior is still fairly cheap, so this, uh, yeah, this wouldn't be too bad. Ah, there we go. We already have somebody using the beds. Ooh, would you look at that? We can even make some uh, cooked fish person steak. So speaking about those, did um, did we ever did we ever work on those? No. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. This place is um, supposed to be only for food or for raw materials, and the other stockpiles aren't necessarily full. So it doesn't look like the supply organization works, you know, fully as intended. Okay, but either way, that's not too bad. And it looks like soon enough they'll be uh, finishing that up. And right, soon enough we'll have stone as well. Hmm, so, I, so I'll get another group to uh, grab any of that. Okay, well that is that. Let's take a look at um, how well the bed is working over here. He slept in a he, he slept in a bed below his station really recently. How upsetting! I think that was later on during the day, but um, ideally these beds would be yeah coming in handy with uh, you know people kind of coming in and out like that. 
Sullivan Cog is starving and will die soon without food. Um, we have ample amounts of food, so he shouldn't be starving. Where is he, in fact? Ah, oh, great, now everyone's sleeping here. So, he is... Sullivan Cog, where is he? Where is this event? Oh, no wonder, he's, not, he's never near the base. Huh. Artisan. Assume to colonist. Yeah, that is why. He is, uh... He somehow wandered all the way over here. From the looks of it, by the, uh, the, by the ed edge of the map. And... He's being attacked by something, I don't know. Looks like he... I don't know, maybe the... Maybe the buffalo trapped him inside him or something, but I think we'll have to chop that up to a death. Right, well that's early access for you. He was... What happened over here? He cowered in terror and felt better a bit. Okay, fair enough. Oh, hostile fish people again. Ah, oh, it's good they were right next to the military, so that's not too bad. And we get some immigrants, perfect. If anyone dies, we'll be able to replace them. Ooh, that's not good. Yes, lead them into the fire, come on. No, don't run with them. There we go, yeah. That is apparently a farmer now. It's actually quite irreplaceable. I really hope they kill her in time. There we go, perfect. Right, and you, you, you get back to work immediately. There you go. Okay, so not bad. Ooh. And they even left some uh, knives and stuff. Okay. So, not bad, not bad at all. Suspicious goods over here. So, I think we've seen this before. This person is willing to donate um, some goods to the colony. You know what? Sure, we'll take them. So, yeah, we get some construction goods. Apparently, the colonists aren't very, very happy about, you know, getting illicit goods. But, you know what? There's no harm in getting some more building construction uh, equipment. So, I think we'll grab that and we'll just go with it. Right, in the meantime, over here, inside the little shack, you know, things are, uh, yeah, things look good. People are taking apple use the, of the beds. Um, so, let's see. She slept in the bed below her state. Ah, I see. They want a better house is what. Yeah, because some of the people, or the majority of the people are middle class, as odd as that sounds. Um, so we need some something better for them. So we'll get that set up soon enough. Uh, for now, let's grab some more help. So, you know, get another criminal laborer and uh yeah we'll get them to work the fields or do something of the sort Okay, so I think we've, um, I think we'll end the episode here, folks. We've, uh, we've ended off one wave of those fish people once again. This area over here seems to be nice and kind of set up for work. And I think going forwards, I mean, we already have the, the, you know, the humble beginnings of a new colony set up. So I hope you guys, um, well, join me once again in episode three of our new Let's Play series. Uh, bye-bye for now.